10 Great Star Trek Episodes Written by Women Throughout Star Trek's Long and Varied History, Several Incredible Episodes Have Been Written by Women. Since Star Trek, the original series premiered in 1966, the franchise has championed diversity on screen. While this philosophy did not always extend to the people working behind the scenes, Star Trek Tios did have several women writers, including D.C. Montana as a story editor. As trends in the entertainment industry began to shift, more women have become writers and directors across television, including Star Trek. From Nichelle Nichols' L.T. Uhara to Kate Mulgrew's Captain Catherine Janeway to Sonequa Martin-Green's Captain Michael Burnham, women have always played a vital role in Star Trek. It's important, then, that Star Trek champions women behind the scenes as well. E.C. Montana was the first woman to write for Star Trek, penning the second episode of T.O.S., Charlie X, based on an idea from Gene Roddenberry. Montana went on to write nine more Star Trek episodes throughout T.O.S., several of which were based on her own original ideas, helping to pave the way for all the women writers who came after her. Here are ten great Star Trek episodes written by talented women. As part of the season-long Zindi arc in Star Trek Enterprise Season 3, Damage features Captain Jonathan Archer, Scott Bakula, facing a tough choice when the Enterprise NX-01 suffers heavy damage and losses. When Archer returns to the Enterprise after being captured by the Zindi, he learns that his ship needs a new warp core. Archer tries to negotiate with a nearby Illyrian spacecraft, but the captain refuses to give up his own warp core. Desperate to save Earth from destruction at the hands of the Zindi, Archer decides to attack the Illyrian ship and steal their warp core. Subcommander T. Paul, Jolene Blalock, reacts emotionally to Archer's decision, eventually revealing to D.R. Locks, John Billingsley, that she hid a three-month addiction to Trillium D. With a tense plotline, Damage takes some unexpected turns and shows another side to Captain Archer. Star Trek Discovery's fifth and final season gets off to an explosive start with Red Directive, sending Captain Michael Burnham and the USS Discovery on an intergalactic treasure hunt. With the introduction of Captain Rayner, Callum Keith Rennie, and the villains Maul, Eve Harlow, and Lack, Elias Tufexis, Red Directive sets the stage for an action-packed final season. Burnham and Rayner must work together on a mysterious Red Directive mission to investigate an 800-year-old Romulan ship. Maul and Lack manage to evade capture and visit an android named Fred J. Adam Brown, who bears a striking resemblance to Star Trek, the next generation's LT. Commander Data, Brent Spiner. In the end, Diarkovich, David Cronenberg, lets Captain Burnham in on the secret Red Directive mission, revealing the search for the powerful technology the progenitors used to create humanoid life. With spectacular scenes of sky-fi action and several nods to past Star Trek shows, Red Directive got Star Trek Discovery's final season off to a thrilling start. Star Trek has a long history of breaking boundaries, not only in its futuristic, progressive vision, but also in terms of gender inclusivity. The series has featured incredible female writers who have contributed unforgettable episodes across the franchise. Here are 10 standout episodes written by women that have left an indelible mark on the Star Trek universe. 1. The Conscience of the King, 1966, teleplay by Jean Lissette Arueste from the original series, The Conscience of the King stands out as a chilling exploration of guilt, responsibility, and morality. Aroeste, one of the first female writers to contribute to Star Trek, crafted this episode around Captain Kirk's discovery that a Shakespearean actor may actually be a war criminal from his past. The episode delves into the complexities of justice, revenge, and forgiveness. Aroeste's deft hand in layering these psychological themes through poetic dialogue adds depth to Kirk's character, proving that Star Trek could excel at both moral and existential drama. Boop. The Lorelei Signal Star Trek, the animated series, 1973. Written by Margaret Arman, in this episode from the animated series, we see an intriguing reversal of gender dynamics. The Enterprise crew stumbles upon a planet where an all-female society lures starships with a siren-like signal, draining the life force from the male crew members. Arman, a veteran science fiction writer, flips the script on traditional gender power dynamics, forcing the women of the Enterprise to step up and save the day. Uhura and Nurse Chapel take command, offering a refreshing look at the untapped potential of female leadership in the series. 3. The Survivors Star Trek The Next Generation, 1989 
written by Melinda M. Snodgrass in The Next Generation. Melinda M. Snodgrass contributed several notable episodes, with the survivors being one of the most thought-provoking. The story follows the Enterprise as they investigate a decimated planet where only two people remain, an elderly couple seemingly untouched by the devastation around them. The episode masterfully weaves themes of love, guilt, and godlike power, with a twist that questions the ethical limits of omnipotence. Snodgrass's writing reveals a deep emotional core, balancing philosophical questions with human intimacy. 4. The Game, Star Trek, The Next Generation, 1991. Written by Susan Sackett, The Game is a quintessential Next Generation episode about mind control, addiction, and free will. Sackett, who worked closely with Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, wrote this episode that taps into societal concerns about technology and manipulation. When the crew becomes addicted to a seemingly harmless game, it's up to Wesley Crusher and a guest character to save the ship. Sackett's story is sharp, timely, and loaded with subtext about autonomy in the face of technology's allure. 5. Counterpoint, Star Trek, Voyager, 1998. Teleplay by Catherine Powers, Counterpoint is a Voyager episode that showcases Captain Janeway at her finest. Powers creates a chess match between Janeway and an alien inspector named Kashik, blending romantic tension with a battle of wits. The plot revolves around the Federation's efforts to secretly smuggle telepaths through a region that outlaws them. Powers' script shines with its intricate, layered writing, exploring themes of trust, deception, and moral ambiguity. The relationship between Janeway and Kashik is both intellectually and emotionally charged, making it one of Voyager's standout episodes. 6. Resistance, Star Trek Voyager, 1995. Teleplay by Lisa Klink. Lisa Klink's Resistance is one of Voyager's most poignant episodes. The story sees Captain Janeway posing as the daughter of a delusional freedom fighter on an alien planet. While on the surface it's a mission to recover vital components, the episode delves into deeper emotional waters. Klink beautifully balances action with themes of family, loss, and resistance against tyranny. This episode showcases Klink's ability to write not only thrilling stories, but also ones rich in character development and emotional resonance. 7. Message in a Bottle, Star Trek, Voyager, 1998. Written by Lisa Klink, another stellar entry by Lisa Klink, Message in a Bottle is a highly entertaining episode that showcases Voyager's resourcefulness and humor. When the Doctor is sent across the galaxy to another ship in a desperate attempt to contact the Alpha Quadrant, hilarity and tension ensue. Clink's writing shines in this episode for its witty dialogue and ability to blend high-stakes drama with comedic elements. The episode also marks a pivotal moment in Voyager's journey home, proving Clink's expertise in crafting both plot-driven and character-driven stories. 8. Past Tense, Part 1 and 2 Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, 1995. Teleplay by, Asterix, IRA Stephen Bear and Robert Hewitt Wolf, based on a story by, Hilary J. Bader in past tense, Cisco, Bashir, and Dax find themselves in 21st century Earth during a pivotal historical moment. The two-part episode tackles issues like economic inequality, homelessness, and the potential consequences of societal neglect. Hilary J. Bader's contribution to the story introduces these vital themes, making it one of Deep Space Nine's most politically charged and socially relevant arcs. The script presents a dystopian vision that feels hauntingly familiar, underscoring the franchise's commitment to reflecting real-world concerns through science fiction. 9. Emissary, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, 1993. Written by D.C. Fontana D.C. Fontana is a Star Trek legend, having written numerous key episodes across the franchise. Emissary, the pilot episode of Deep Space Nine, is one of her crowning achievements. The episode introduces us to Benjamin Sisko, the reluctant leader of 